Well, one of the best places to enjoy the waves and the wind, the scenery, the view of Hatley Castle around Greater Victoria is the Squamalt Lagoon. Getting there is getting a little more difficult, though. Colwood engineers say erosion is making the bridge to the Lagoon Causeway unsafe, so vehicles have been banned indefinitely. Now, the solution may cost uh, thousands or millions of dollars, and it's money that Colwood just doesn't have. It's a picturesque day at Esquimalt Lagoon today. The sun is shining as the waves break on the beach. Ideal conditions for an afternoon walk. It's, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet, it's nice. But Esquimalt Lagoon is a little too quiet for some people of Colwood these days. My husband drives across us every day because he takes the blue boat to dockyard. So this is a huge like inconvenience because we live in Machosa now. He has to travel all the way around and then come back down. The city has closed the Esquimalt Lagoon Bridge indefinitely because engineers say the damage caused by the ongoing erosion has made it unsafe. Going back to 1935, this was a nicely, nice little stream that went through here and now it's completely washed away. In the last two years, we've seen over 200 feet of the foreshore wash away. The erosion has gotten to the point where it's starting to weaken the foundation of the abutments that hold the road and the bridge together. And as a result, city engineers say the bridge is starting to slowly collapse. A quick fix would cost Colwood $20,000, and a completely new bridge would cost about three quarters of a million. But Saunders says neither option would stand the test of time. Even if we had a brand new spanking bridge here to the tune of $700,000, you have the potential to have a bridge as an island with water surrounding it. Saunders wants to see a three to $12 million breakwater built to ease the wave action and reduce the erosion. As for what taxpayers want, opinions are mixed. Some want it fixed as soon as possible, while others would like it to remain car free. For the birds, for the animals, yeah. Just makes sound sense environmentally. Yeah, and anybody that wants to come walking down here, it's perfect. But City Councillor Gordy Logan says even if Colwood kept the crossing for pedestrians and cyclists only, the bridge would ultimately face the same fate. When Mother Nature eventually erodes uh, the, the spit altogether, so we may one day not even see a bridge here because it's, the abutments will, will, will mean the bridge falls into the sea. Logan says the bridge could be closed to vehicle traffic until May or June, and in the meantime, the neighbourhood birds will most likely enjoy the peace and quiet. In Colwood, Maggie Cox, A News.